Winds turned out to be less fierce than originally expected today, but firefighters in California still have their work cut out for them. The wildfires fires are ravaging parts of the state, and the first death has been reported. The burned body of a woman was found next to her overturned car. Danielle Nottingham reports from Ventura. Crews battling the lilac fire in San Diego County are trying to minimize the damage, but this house is already gone. We have crews surrounding this whole area. We're going to make a stand and we're going to protect all the ones that we can. Officials are advising residents in Lilac's path to be prepared to move. We have 20 structures that have been destroyed. I expect that that number will go higher. Several major wildfires are consuming parts of California. Flames tore through trees and brush on the 101 in Ventura County, shutting down stretches of one of the busiest freeways in America. It uh, definitely looks like Armageddon went off here. Mike Stevens has been hosing down his home, trying to protect it. All the ambers that are coming across from the hills, it's only obvious that it could start, you know, no problem. But firefighters are advising residents not to take matters into their own hands. Stuff that burns is not good for you, so just the whole thing is just not safe. The Thomas fire has creeped into Los Padres National Forest. A lot of vegetation out here and the flames are going to continue to burn. An estimated 1 million people are affected by the poor air conditions. I think safety is always a big challenge and then the wind, the wind driven fire. Uh, it's it's uh, tremendous. Officials warn heavy winds and dry air could prolong conditions here for weeks. Danielle Nottingham, CBS News, Ventura, California. A new wildfire that sparked in the San Diego area is also causing problems for firefighting crews already stretched thin by long hours and expanding need. Lawmakers in D.C. are sounding off after Minnesota U.S. Senator Al Franken announced he will resign in the coming weeks after multiple women accused him of sexual misconduct. Franken made the announcement in an emotional speech on the Senate floor a day after 35 of his fellow Democratic senators demanded he step down. North Dakota U.S. Congressman Kevin Kramer says he believes Franken didn't truly understand the seriousness of his alleged actions. This isn't Hollywood. This isn't Saturday Night Live. Um, they're not asking to have their picture taken with you because they, you know, they're enamored with you. Um, you're their senator. And, and I think you knew that once there were more than one, there were going to be lots of them, I thought, anyway. And I'm surprised he didn't recognize that earlier. Fellow Minnesota U.S. Senator Amy Klobuchar said, as they discussed yesterday, Franken was making the right decision. Minnesota Governor Mark Dayton will name a replacement for Franken. Dayton says he expects to make an announcement in the next couple of days. Whomever he names will serve until a special election. Franken's term runs through 2020.